Today we're going to talk about crispy forms. Crispy forms is an awesome way to take and do your forms and your form visualization stuff that you would normally do in your template and move that to your code. It simplifies the rendering of your forms as well. One of the annoyances I personally find in dealing with forms is the front end template code that you have to do to display your forms. Crispy forms make us it really simple, especially for people like me that prefer to do as much as they can in Python code. Let's take a look at what it takes to get crispy forms installed and up and running. First thing that we need to do is we need to do a pip install. After that, we need to add crispy forms to our installed apps and our settings. We also need to set a setting called the crispy template pack. The crispy template pack allows you to define and already has a few preset styles that will automatically be used when rendering out your forms using crispy forms. If we take a look at our view, we have main view and it inherits from form view. You'll also notice I have three predefined forms and they're actually fairly simple in their construct. It's just basic form creation inside of Django using what Django already uses. It's really nothing new. The good thing about crispy forms is you can take this, which we currently already have, and you can immediately start using it. All we really need to do is load the crispy form tags. And then since our form view passes our form class to our template using the name form, we just need to call crispy form. That should be all that we need to do to start displaying our first form. There we go. There's our first form using Bootstrap 3. To me, it looks pretty good, and we're ready to move on to the next thing. It's all fine and good that Crispy Forms does so much for us and gives us a lot of power. But how do we actually start using that power? Well, what we need to do is in our forms, we need to import and use a form helper that exists for crispy forms. We need to import our form helper and then we can immediately go ahead and start using it in our forms. First thing we'll do is we'll edit our simple form. And the form helper object tells crispy forms that we need to actually wrap our form in a in form tags. But we also need to tell what to do instead of, so we just don't have basic HTML form wrapping. This tells us to populate our method for a post. And then we also need to add the code to for our helper to know that the submit button object. What we're going to do is we're going to call an add input function on our helper and pass it a submit object. And there we go, that creates our submit button, gives it a name and a caption of login, and it uses the BTN primary class for our button. Let's actually go ahead and look at this in the browser. Okay, now that you know how to do a basic form and using the form helper and to add just enough to get us going with our forms, let's move on to the cart form make things a little more interesting by customizing our layout. So we're going to have some of the same stuff in our cart form as we do our simple form. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to do a custom layout in our Python code for our form. This says that we're going to have our item at the top. And then the great thing about Bootstrap is it comes with some prepended and appended fields that are really handy to deal with to make our forms look a lot nicer. And we can actually use these so that it generates them nicely and we don't have to muck around in too much HTML. 
What this does is this generates an HTML prepended text field for us and it puts the pound at the beginning of the text field and it uses the quantity field that we specified above. Along with prepended, there's also appended and it does the same thing except puts things at the end. But there's also a prepended appended text that does both at the same time. So let's go ahead and look at that now. And that's going to put a dollar sign at the beginning and a dot zero zero at the end of our text field. The final thing we need to do is we no longer need to add a submit button manually using the add input. We can actually use some form actions and add our submit button at the end of our layout. So with that ready to go, let's go ahead and do our appropriate imports and then take a look at this in the browser. And there we go. We have our item field. We have a quantity with a prepended pound sign for the number. Then we have our prepended and appended fields followed by our button, which we should have actually gone ahead and renamed from login to submit or something. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at our last fee last form, the credit card form. Since we already actually know about most of what I'm about to do, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the code. So now that we have our form helper stuff ready to go, let's take a look at what we added. We have a form class, which we're putting in form horizontal. This is the class that will be attached to our form element. Label class is the class that will be attached to our labels. Field class, attaching classes to our fields. And then we have our layout, and we're just using a simple field so that we can assign it a custom CSS class. And then note down here we have notes, and we can set how many rows we want for our big text area. We can set this to 3 or 100. And then finally, we have our submit button. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at this in the browser. And there we go. I think that covers uh, using Crispy Forms and gets you pretty much all of the basics that you need to get started with Crispy Forms. There's a lot more that you can learn and use, and I really recommend digging in and giving it a shot.